What's going on, everybody? This is Andre Taylor, president of Taylor May Solutions. And you know I'm excited because it is Small Business Week. We are celebrating May 5th through the 11th by honoring, supporting, promoting, just lifting up our small business owners. And I'm so excited because I have Will Fletcher of No Rest Till Success joining me for the next interview on today. Will, how you doing? I'm doing all right. How you doing? Excellent, excellent. Thanks for taking out of your time, your busy schedule, to just share with us uh, as I ask you a few questions over the next uh, few moments of our talk. So I don't want to waste any time. We can jump right into it. My first question for you is, I want you to tell us who you are, what your business is, how do you add value to people, what you're all about. Uh, my name is William Fletcher, Freeport, Illinois native, 30 years old. Um, how I started No Rest Till Success is me working two jobs tirelessly, mm. literally tirelessly getting off of one job, going right into the next, getting from there, getting home, getting maybe three, four hours of sleep right back up, back to the next job. Mm. So pretty much I, I just kept saying, like, I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing this. I'm wearing my body down. I'm wearing myself down spending no time with my family, my friends, things I like to do. Um, so at one point I had started and thought of starting a clothing line, mm -hmm. uh, but the name I had for it, I knew that it wouldn't market well to everyone else. So I just kept thinking on it. And I thought the reason I'm doing all this work is because I want to be successful. I'm literally getting no sleep because of it. I put it all together, no rest till success. And here I am now. I add value by, uh, I don't just sell clothes. This is more than just a clothing business, even though that's uh, how I make most of the money, generate most of the dollars that I have. But I also give back to the community. I've, I've done water fights in the park for free. Uh, I do a food drive every year where I donate all the food to the FACC, which is the Freeport Area Church Co-op. Okay. Um, block parties I've done. Um, I'm looking to start a, a reading with dads program down at the library here in Freeport, Illinois. Um, that's just a few quick things about myself and how I started the business. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. So if I'm hearing you correct, it sounds like for you, it's more about, uh, just work. It's more about a product. There's a purpose behind that. And, and you, you're very, it seems like you're very much involved in the community and giving back. Would that be kind of safe to say that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So tell me this. Um, well, first, I, I kind of want to know when you kind of made that transition. You know, was it a long time ago? Was it more recent? And, and what, what, why did you decide to become an entrepreneur, a small business owner? And the reason I ask is because there's a lot of risk involved with that. You know, there's a lot of... <laughs> hard work you know there's, there's a lot of things that come in you know maybe there's a little a fear of the unknown there you know what i mean what if you fail or mess up it could be embarrassing so so what was it for you that made you really and, and i think you kind of touched on it right you were like hey i was working two jobs i already had a grind you know what i mean so i understand i appreciate the grind but it had to be probably something a little more than that right so what was it that really caused you to go in that direction um I, like I said, I was working two jobs tirelessly, um, getting no sleep at all. So I, uh, I'm a Leo, which is where I got the, the lion to be my logo from. And uh, it started off as just me using the words, no rest till success. I put them on a couple t-shirts, took them to some friends. They liked them. Um, I, just, I, I started looking up logos for a lion because I'm like, maybe I can actually start making clothes and people actually buy these clothes so i found the nice lion uh, that i liked put the words around it and it literally just took off from there um i honestly had no idea that it was going to get the success or gain the recognition that it did around freeport and i've even sent things to rockford texas florida georgia everywhere like people really are shopping with me i don't have a website yet um but it it just came natural i i, I don't want to say that like 
it's just something I do. Right. But it, it started out of nowhere at first. Like I said, I just put a couple shirts that had the name No Rest Till Success on it. Once the Lion logo came with it, put the words around it, everyone started buying it. And once everyone started buying it, I was just like, all right, this is something I can really do. And I just capitalized on that and I just keep trying to improve. And that's how I became an entrepreneur. Absolutely. So how long have you been doing it? Uh, I actually started making shirts in 2014. I okay. received a business license February 13th of 2015. Okay. So I'm four years in now with uh, a year break in it due to uh, some some uh, bad choices in life. So uh, I'd really say three years, but four years overall. Okay, that's awesome. I think statistically they say, what is it like? A majority of businesses don't make it past like two years. I, I don't got all my stats together, but it's like, it's really hard to make it past the two year mark. And they say it's almost impossible to make it past the five year mark. So you like in a good space, you like right in that sweet spot. I think it's like 80% of businesses don't make it past five years. But once you make it past five years, you have like an 80% chance of success or staying in business. So the, the odds flip to your favor if you can just make it over that. So that's awesome. You've been doing it and you've been grinding and pushing. So what are, what are some of the challenges that you feel you've encountered uh, during uh, running your business? Um, challenges. Finding a supplier with shirts uh, mm. that get at an affordable, affordable price so you can make them put ever what you want to put on them and then sell them to the public and not overcharge them uh because they i'm just someone that they can walk up to every day for some reason you know people feel like oh if uh, a celebrity has a shirt they're willing to pay more for that shirt than just buying it from me for a cheaper cost so when they see me they expect it to be cheaper so i want to keep my cost cheap mm -hmm. um so that's one problem that you run into being able to find uh, the cheap shirt or cheap good shirts. Right, right. Wow. How it on your skin also matters. You don't just want wear it one time and then you wash it and oh, it's it shrunk or it it, <laughs> it feel like sandpaper on your skin. <laughs> oh, you got to get it find finding the good quality shirts for uh, for a cheaper price. Um, I've uh, one big problem is um, I, I decided to start actually making the shirts myself. So I ran into a lot of problems with uh, how, to, how to heat press them on, how to, how to screen print them on. I have a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of mess ups. But that's what you go through being an entrepreneur and when you try to do things yourself. You know? Absolutely. Trust me. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, well, that's actually a good segue to my, my – Last question. Um, you've been in the game, you know, you're further along uh, on the path of the journey. I, I like to call it the marathon, <laughs> you know. So you you, you, you a little bit further down the, you know, the person that's just starting off or maybe even just thinking about starting off. Uh, what, if any, word of advice or what wisdom would you pass back to somebody who's at the very beginning stages of starting a business? If you are at the very beginning stages of starting your business or you thinking about starting a business or you think, oh, I'm going to just wait till I got this amount of money saved up before I finally dive in, just dive in. Just go for it. Don't, don't, don't wait around. Just take that leap of faith because the longer you wait, it, maybe somebody else might have the same idea you got. They beat you to it. Or say when when you do save a certain amount of money because i'm i'm guilty of this once you save a certain amount of money then it's all right now i gotta save this much money before i do it okay now i've reached this much all right now i'm gonna say this much so don't don't wait just just jump out there if, if it's in your heart you take that leap of faith and go for it and you 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 come I with it. A, take however it comes absolutely so you're basically saying don't wait till it's perfect don't wait till you got everything 100%. Like, it could be 90, 95. Just get, just get good, close enough and kind of make that step, take that step of faith. Hey, right That's now is the perfect time. Tomorrow ain't the perfect time. Right now is the perfect time. 
Absolutely. Love it. Love it. All right. Well, again, uh, we'll appreciate your time. I, don't, I know it's precious to you, uh, especially as being a small business owner and, and grinding and working hard. So before I, I let you go, if somebody's saying, hey, I love what Will is saying. I love what his brand is about. I love that he likes uh, giving back to the community and, and being involved in the community. I want to figure out maybe how to collaborate with him. Maybe I just want to have a conversation. Maybe I want to buy some of his products, some of his clothes, of his clothing line. What's the best way for people to reach you today? The best way to reach me is through Facebook. I can be reached at Dizzy Fletcher, D-I-Z-Z-I-E-F-L-E-T-C-H-E-R. Or uh, you can contact me through Instagram, which is F-C-B-G underscore D-I-Z-Z. So those are the two best ways to contact me right now. Or I'm a reachable person. If you see me out walking, I normally got a, a no rest hoodie on or sweatpants or rubber band. See, check the brand. Uh. <laughs> uh -huh. You see me, just stop me and uh, let me know. And uh, we'll get your, get your order placed and, and sent out to you. Absolutely. Will, again, appreciate your time. Blessings. I hope to have you back for another interview. Hey, Andre, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for giving me this platform.